Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jim Labuda here once again. And today we're gonna take a look at the golf swing of the most recent winner on the LPGA Tour, Hannah Green. Hannah's from Australia. She picked up her third LPGA win this past weekend by winning at the JM Eagle LA Championship in a playoff. She also had two wins back in 2019, including the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. So let's go ahead and take a look at Hannah's golf swing here. First thing we wanna point out, she's definitely teeing off here with more of a fairway wood, not necessarily a driver. Ball position's a little bit further back in her stance. You can see it's kind of right off that left ear, maybe closer to that left armpit position. That's gonna really force her to kind of hit down on this ball. If the ball position were a little bit more forward here, where we want it off the left heel for the driver, she'd definitely have more of an upward angle of attack. The other thing we're gonna look at is a nice wide base here. She's got her feet really, really wide. Left foot is kind of angled out maybe slightly, but you can see that right foot is really perpendicular to the target line. So as she rotates back in her backswing, she's really gonna set up against a firm right side. I'm gonna put a, line, or a circle here around her head. And now as she starts her takeaway, the first thing I want you to notice here is as the hands <clears throat> get to the trail thigh, you can see that she really starts becoming wristy in the swing here. Generally at this point in time, we would want the left arm to be more in a straight line with the club, but you can see she starts getting the wrist action moving here very, very early in the swing. As she starts getting to the top, what I want you to notice is look how her head really starts to kind of move back in the golf swing. But if I put a line here against her trail side, what we're gonna notice is that she's not sliding through that side, but that right hip is really starting to turn and rotate behind her. So now, just because her head has shifted laterally a little bit, you can see that she's turned her head more. She's looking at that ball more out of the lead or the left eye. So what that's doing is it's helping her make a little bit bigger of a backswing. But you can see again, if I put a circle around the right side here, her right hip has not gone through that line. So she's really shifted into that right side, loading up the right side good. And she's ready to really use the ground and her lower body in the downswing. As she starts moving now, you can see again, club just barely does not get to parallel, but again, look at where her head has been. She's loaded up that right side. Now we're gonna focus on the lead side here. She makes a real aggressive move with that left side there and the downswing, really using the ground for leverage. And this is what I really like, is that as she gets into impact position here, real, real solid impact position. This is picture perfect here, ankle, knee, and hip, stacked over one another nicely, left arm extended, right arm is just gonna extend past impact here, rotating into a huge, huge finish. Hannah is a kind of a sneaky long player. I think she's averaging about 275 off the tee right now. This is someone I think you're, again, you're gonna hear more of this year. Picked up the win in a playoff, already has one major, but I think you're gonna hear more from this real, a little bit shorter, more compact golf, but very, very powerful Australian golf swing in the future.